Last week was a tough week for the Pozen Vikings boys basketball team, especially on their home court. They just had a hard time keeping up with Mayo and Oscoda. Well, they were back on the road as they squared off with the Roger City Hurons. Here we go. First quarter, White Rommel feeds it to Cameron Paul, and his mid-range jumper is nothing but net. He finished with eight points on the night. Moments later, Vikings are going to kick it out to the corner, and that's where senior George Kroll will deliver. His three-pointer is money. That forced the Hurons to call a timeout. Back comes Roger City. Matt Newhouse is going to drive in, and he's going to make it look so easy finishing with the bucket. Nice job there, but back come the Vikings. Big man, senior Ian Hinska. Can't get a shot to go, but it fouls through and makes it the second time. Posing up 21 to 16 at the half. Roger City trying to get going. Nick Friel spins through the contact, is able to lay it in. No quit in the Huron. Seconds before the end of the third quarter. Senior J.D. Ellenberger for three. Bang! Huron's up six. One quarter to go. But Posen is like, we're not blowing this game. Lucas Stone records the seal, gets the bucket, plus the foul. He finished with 21 points and to top it all off. How about a full court pass? to Chase Doobie. He'll easily lay it up and in. Posen wins on the road, defeating Roger City 49 to 40. How about Talos taking on Alpina? Cooper Bright throws it down the court to senior Jackson Manski, and he'll take it from there. He finishes with the left-handed layup. Back come the Braves. Camden Grove drives in, decides to pull up and swish. His mid-range jumper is good. Third quarter now, Tawas down by 22. Noah Davis is going to hit the spin around jumper. Nice shot there by the senior, but it was all Alpina in this contest. Kelly Stark passes it to Adam Erlob, and his three-pointer is good, plus the foul. You don't see a lot of that happening in high school hoops. And to top it all off, Wildcats in transition. Rivals is going to feed it to Jordan Schultz, and he'll take care of the rest. Alpina cruises past Tawas, winning 74 to 32. Now some other scores. Ottawa gets crushed by Inland Lakes, losing 70 to 47. Hal was able to take care of business on the road, defeating Alcona 78 to 49. Another big night for Joseph Kimmer as he led the Eagles in the scoring department with 30 points. Oscoda runs up the score on Fairview, winning 71 to 29. The duo of Owen Franklin and Braden Malik were on point in this one. Franklin dropped 25 points while Malik finished with 23. The Owls are 10-0 on the season, and they will be at Mile on Friday to take on the Thunderbolts. That will be an excellent matchup for you guys. And speaking of the Thunderbolts, they take care of business on their home court, winning 63-34 over the Hillman Tigers.